hide and seek is fun. Hello! I've come to hurt you. He's the final one. Link is such a nice guy. He lets them run away before he murders them. Oh, lame! My eyes cannot do that. What? Yeah, the Tinkle Tuner is not exactly 100% useful right now, but he'll be very useful in the dungeon, except for rocks. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Just remember, Tinkle's useful for everything except for rocks and dungeons. <laughs> Great. Which he should be useful. You're gonna turn it off for now. Okay. Yeah. It's a good idea, right? Yeah. You can serve power. Uh, actually, there is one thing I wanted to talk about. Um... As a conversation topic. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of, uh... How much- how many remakes do you think are going to be, like, made before, like, that's sort of, like, trend stops? Or do you think it will ever stop? Oh my god. I'm hoping it'll stop, and I'm hoping we come up with more original ideas, or at least sequels, or... Yeah. Things, uh, because they need- more people need to do what God of War did. Uh, well, God of War, uh, the recent one? Yeah, because te it, technically it's the reboot. Right, that's that's true. Right, but they also just kind of said, okay, it's it, the reboot, but it's also the continuation of the story. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and it works that way because... And it's amazing. Because it's, it shows it as a development of his character rather than a... Yeah. Hold on. Oh, wait, I have to talk to the kids before I can actually give her this. Uh... One of the things that always struck me with God of War, because I have never played it all the way through, but I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Because I saw so much love from the people who were playing it, because they were enamored by how much it meant in the story. And when one of the key moments I remember everybody being really passionate about was when he brought up Blades of Chaos. Right. Uh, spoilers for those of you who haven't played it. Ah, oh, god, that is a spoiler, ain't it? <laughs> but either way, uh, go to this timestamp to avoid the spoiler. I'm sorry. <laughs> but... <laughs> but the what people were just, so passionate what about... I just, as that... Put time the timestamp stamp I just put the timestamp as before you say it, so I you was say just it gonna again. say, so they get spoiled anyway. Oh, that would be so dickish. It'd be a time loop. It'd be a time loop. They'd be like, oh no, I have to unspoil myself. Clicks it again. And you put a you put a mid-roll ad right before it. <laughs> you can't control yeah, ads I know, anymore. I know. It'd be funny though. I don't make any money. Yeah. But uh what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um seeing that passion in people's faces when it comes to video games that they grew up with. God of War is amazing. Yes. Like, Corey Barlock. Corey is an amazing game director. Yeah. Uh, and when you have... Because God, God of War originally was this game about, like, somebody completely just a rage machine who knew yeah. nothing but and destruction. And then God of War 2 kind of turned it into a thing more about self-control. Yeah. Like, being able to control your own life. Yeah. And... But it's still about a rage machine. Yes. Uh... And that's Based interesting because you know who directed God of War 2? Who did? The same director of that game. Wow. No, I think... Uh, let me let me look up him. Let me look up Corey. But either second. way, while you're looking that up... Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Yeah, Corey Barlog. Actually, I, I gotta admit, that. we hit that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up. It's gonna be- they all have the same voice. It's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon. We're thinking of giving her a present, so it'd be a good thing that we finally get our hands on that thing. Yeah, he was the lead animator for the first God of War. And the oh, director of the second he one. He was a lead animator? Yeah. That's awesome! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. No way. That didn't fit the Killer's Beast style. I always thought that the kid with the blue hair was a girl. He also directed the cinematics on the 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah. I've never played much of the game, but... I know. Yeah. Come on, bud. Can't you give teach for us? Can't you? It's obvious that they have, like, some sort of New York accent, and I love how the English uh, team did that. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be something reliable. Who can keep a secret? You're the only one we could ask, bud. Oh, yeah, because apparently everybody in town doesn't like the teacher. 
uh, yeah, because they think they think she's like kind of an outsider, despite her being here for like 20 years. That makes sense. At least I think that. Uh, there's a lot of gossip about her, and they're just like, oh, she's so gaudy and stuff. This kid's my favorite. He likes watching the moon. Uh, if you go to him during the night, he'll be like looking at the stars with his telescope, and he'll be like, hey, you know what that constellation is? You know what it's cycle the, the moon, moon is? And it's not a constellation. Well, they actually do have constellations in this game. Oh, I know. But, I just joke. Yeah, I know. I was just... I wasn't you aware. You ever... A, 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 a link. You ever think what, that the moon, the moon is getting closer? <laughs> it's like... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just flashbacks to Majora's Mask. It's like... No! <laughs> but it's implied this is a different link. But well, no, awesome. Majora's Mask is a Link. Hmm? No, I'm saying... It's not Hyrule, it's a completely different You're place. right, it's Termina. Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that... And that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. I'm pretty sure I took it off a... ma... a Bokoblin. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know I'd only be a teacher oh, for a long time. my wildest dreams. Yeah, wildest dreams. Can't wait to get the hook shot. Those little sweeties, I'm so beautiful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. So, close your eyes, dear. More money! Yes. But the, uh... What? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing? Close my eyes like you were Fuck it. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm being so dense, but I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you deserved it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I deserve everything. Uh, so, one of the things I noticed about, like, God of War and its storytelling is that, first of all, its storytelling was phenomenal. It's, it's, it was still I captivating. To I have to show you which, the God of War 18, right? Yes. I've got to show you, did I send you all those... How the storytelling is shown through the world things. Uh, is what? I'll, I'll probably link it in the description. Yeah. But it's like this thread of ways God of War uses just the environment to tell a narr to progress the narrative. Oh, yeah. As uh, an emotional feel. Yeah, we were actually talking about this earlier. How it would, uh, get like a tree that will get your attention. So you'll look over to. <laughs> A progressing, uh... Yeah, it's like, it's the archways, how the archways control your movement as you go into new areas. It's an art. It's That's a legitimately a, an art. It's amazing art. Uh, so, hold on. I'm a greedy bastard. But, uh... <laughs> so, this is an area we need to go to to get the pictograph. The pictograph? Yeah. Uh, it's just something nice to have to get the ghost ship chart. Ah. I uh, remember the ghost ship. Yes. Do uh, you know this by heart? Yes. Um, I actually know the ghost ship, uh, locations by heart, so I don't think we actually need the ghost ship chart. Hold on. I actually went the wrong way. Uh, doing it in this view is very useful because you'll be able to see the rats that can make a drop on you because there are rats in here that will have a pulley system that will uh, drop you outside if they see you. See uh, over there? That mm -hmm. wooden panel means that there's a rat there. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty useful to know considering those things will drop you without a second thought. I remember watching that. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty useful to just use the front view camera because you can literally just see rats across the room <laughs> sometimes just waiting for you to drop you down. But I didn't know that as a kid. And I died. Well, not died. I got dropped out many a time. I died rats. many times as a young child. It was pretty dramatic. That's pretty deep. We don't need to read the sign because I don't care about the guy who died in here. <laughs> Harsh. Yeah, see, like, there's a rat right out there. There's one to your right, too. Oh, yeah, I can just use him to get out, honestly. <laughs> 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 uh, 
slap. He looks so malicious. <laughs> they all look malicious. But see, He's like, the thing I'm is, I'm going to ruin your life. Yeah. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? <laughs> he starts talking to me when I drop out of the ceiling. Oh, the, very, very well, then. well. I shall teach you the art of sailing. sailing. Shut up. I don't care. Oh my God. Yes, Do you I understand understood. all that. No. Yes, I understood. Let me go. I know. What if we did a speed run of this game? Never mind, we can't do a two hour one without the Wii U version. See, there is this thing called, do you remember the big shield that uh, surrounded the castle? Yeah. Uh, there is something uh, that is called the barrier skip. It's a fabled uh, thing that you can do in this game that saves you many hours. Uh, in a speed run. Because you don't need all the Triforce pieces. Is that it? You technically don't need them. Uh, well, yes, you need them to be able to shatter the shield. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, yeah. it negates the need for them. No, um, actually, it doesn't necessarily do that because... Well, yeah, it negates the need for the Triforce. Uh, and that's one of the things that makes the speed run so long is because this game is very linear. I will say that. Uh, take out Tingle. Give me a second. I'm on my way. Yeah, gotcha. I forget that you need to have it on first. Uh, turn off the light. Or unless you want the... Would you like to call Tingle? Yes. Also, Tingle will have a lot of dialogue in this game. Uh, on the Game Boy itself. Luckily, he doesn't interrupt the actual game most of the time, but he will, like, have other people call him to give you advice, like Tetra will be like, Hey, Tingle, tell Link this, and he'll be like, Oh, T Tetra's a bitch, or something like that. <laughs> he really doesn't like when other people intervene. And what I like about the Tingle tuner is that it fleshes out how much of a fucking sick creep Tingle is. <laughs> because at a certain point, uh... So what are we looking for? Uh, just this island. Uh... Bob just mark Nile? it. Yes, just mark it. How do I do that? Oh, the feather thing? Yes. Hold on. B. Eh. Eh. Hold on. I'm on it. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's saying you're still close to your goal. What did it say? You're so close to your goal. Oh, it's not going to let me do that until I have the Wind Waker, isn't it? That is stupid, but whatever. Oh, wait, I shouldn't grab rupees. I don't need... Uh, it's, it hurts. Okay, when it's marked now. Oh, thank you. But I'm pretty sure it's only going to let me mark one way. You see, I believe it's the blue. Oh... Well, okay. that, that might have already been there. I'm gonna ignore these enemies until I have the hook shot. I mean, the, uh, grappling hook. Uh, the grappling hook is one of the use most useful items for, uh, collecting. Because the thing about the hook shot is that you can use it to take any spoils item from an enemy, uh, because they are not always guaranteed to drop. Uh, you know how, like, the... There's a red dragon at the summit. His name is Yalu, I think. Look at it. It looks so cool. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. <laughs> there, on the horizon. That is our destination, Snaggish. That is his name, right? <laughs> Snaggish, right? I guess. I didn't write it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously. This is... A great theme and I love it because it incorporates the guitar and the pan flute and the uh Yeah. Yeah, just keep listening, you'll understand. You must go see the dragon, the request for the jewel before. called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of Rito Tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the baton of the sorts that used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Okay. 
I think the Wind Waker is probably. You the don't most need my help right now, Turner. No, turn. you don't. Thank you. Hey, man. This is, this is why. This is why I wish the Wii U version had the ting had the tingle tuner, because otherwise I wouldn't have chosen this, to be completely honest. Yeah, that's something interesting for me to do. Yeah. And for the audience to be confused about and never see. Yes. Yeah. Other like nostalgically, I still love this version's style, just simply because the cell shading works so well with it, and I don't I'm not a huge fan of the balloon that they use in the uh Wii U version. Yeah. But Ultimately, I would play that because it runs better, and it ha if it has a moo and improved Tinkle Tuner, I would play the shit out of that. Like, that would be so cool. Yeah. And it would... It would make multiplayer in this game possible. Instead, you leave notes in a bottle for other players on Miiverse, a thing that nobody uses! Sorry. Hey, yeah, you want me to blow up that? Huh? You, uh, to... you probably can blow it up. Let's try it. Uh, it's probably only in dungeons that gets uptight about that. I hope. Yes. So if I turn it on, it'll it'll automatically call. You don't even need to have it on your. Uh, you have to have it on for me to take out the tingle tuner, and then it'll be like, "Would you like to call Tindo? Tingle?" Cool. <laughs> Otherwise, it will give me a pop-up dialogue that's just like, "You have to turn it on, dumbass." <laughs> He's holding up the Game Boy to the mic. Also, Tingle sounds so hilarious. Okay. All right, <laughs> All right go up. Okay. Uh. The thing that's so stressful about the game. Hey, it does work. Cool. Well, you gotta, you gotta direct me to where to go. Like that yes, small I know. one. Where is it? Uh, just press L and I'll take you to it. See? No, no, the smaller one. Smaller one? Why? Yeah. Can you blow up the smaller one? Yeah. You wanna? Why don't yeah, you sure. just do It'll it? It'll give me three seconds. Okay. This one isn't important, so... Okay. Like, I have bombs over but here. But I bet I can do this by memory. The best part about Tingle blowing shit up is that it gives 10 rupees back sometimes. What's up? That's not one of them. I tried. Here. Uh, L? Wait, wait, I can do this. I got... It. I'm here. Yes. Good job! I'm gonna follow you. This is teamwork! Yay! I love this game. It has so much charm to it. Like, just the music. You can I can do fly. It. You can do it. Yes, you are just X and Y axis. You are not able to fall or anything. Wait, right, I'll beat you there. Yes, you probably will. <laughs> Actually, I want to try something. Uh, just change your setting uh, to uh, the balloon. Or Tingle Balloon. I can't see. Uh, yeah, I need to turn the backlight on. Yeah. If it dies, then we'll just... ...save it for later It'll or whatever. just die. Yeah. I also have a charger for it, so we're good. Okay. It took me forever to find this thing. It's the Game Boy SP charger and the DS, the Nintendo DS charger. Okay, what do you want? Balloon? Uh, yes, balloon. It's 30. Yes, uh, I'm kind of wanting to make sure. Tingle, that I... tingle, kalulimpa, papa, please, do do not not fall. See, look at that shit. What? Yeah, you can literally just walk that's across air for five seconds. Awesome. Yes, that's what I love about it. It gives you so many life hacks. Here, blow this up. I'm sorry, I'm switching back. Yeah. It won't let you do it in dungeons, but it doesn't care if you do it over here. Mr. Fair, if you thought Rufus could buy you happiness, you were wrong. Uh, okay, so this is probably a story integral part. It's fine, because there's a- Oh, if I let right you here. use them too much, you won't grow strong. Yeah. Uh, it's essentially going like, hey, can you figure out the puzzle? Don't just use the tingle tuner <laughs> all the time. That's cool. Yeah. Also, unfortunately, it doesn't let you join boss battles because that would be... That- I don't think that would actually work. 